Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Seattle Mariners. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Singy, a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Jorge Polanco, he, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. And he deals. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Combo in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it, from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. foul ball one out base is empty fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2 and a pitch gets a piece and stays alive one down base is empty and this is inside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Tosses to first, and Albies is retired. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Nabs it, and that is that. Braves go down quickly here. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, and on the mound now, Charlie Morton. Yeah, and as Whip tells you, he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So we're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. The wind of the pitch. Josh Rojas in the box now. No balls and a strike. Rojas goes six foot one, 29 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Pitch misses inside, and now it's even one and one. There's your strike, 95 of that one. The one two battling here as he fouls it away. And 
And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. And that's in the dirt. Ball three. And the righty deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Harris has a beat on it. Brings it in. One away. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Julio Rodriguez, the next to hit, takes outside. Starts him off with the breaking ball, which isn't surprising. They're trying to keep him off balance, but he's been known to connect on the breaking stuff, too. And a foul ball. Next offering is foul back. Pitch misses there, and the count's even at two. Got him swinging. That's out number two. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Pitch the misses ball. there. 1 and 0. Two out, space is empty. Next Whoa, pitch is outside. Out. And there's a strike. That one fouled off two and two. And the right hander deals. Fouls it back with two strikes. And there's ball four. Nope. Ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his the career since day one. So two down, Ty France, the next to hit. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That is good. That's a good hitter. Mitch Garver up to it here. And it's swing to miss. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Ripped on the ground a second. They take the force out, and the inning is over. Mariners leave a couple scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Here's Matt Olson. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The right hander back to work. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Ah. 
And there's the strike. One of the things that helped Olsen in 2023, a stance adjustment. And that as well kept him more balanced for less swing and miss. Righty to the plate. That's down and in. Wouldn't chase that time. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. His home and away splits there. And that's down and away. This to center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the grab. Two down. That is good. Here's Orlando Arcia. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one fouled off. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Fly ball down the line. Rayleigh on the move. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the right fielder, Luke Rayleigh. This kick picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Ball Just one. missed. Ball one, no strike. That one, one missing inside. The wind to kick the 2 0. And there's a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jonathan Classe. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Ooh, by You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. That misses, and that's ball two. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. All tied up. Bottom half of inning number two. And that's ball four. 
It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. And he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. Run around at first with one gone. Sevi Zavala digs in now. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. At the belt and fires. Runner on the go. Throw to second. Ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Next Ball offering off misses. Quick. Now two balls and a strike. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really well. Gets in sync with his pitchers. Next offering is down low. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. We'll move to the third with no score. Michael Harris now at the plate. Harris struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Foul ball there. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. A wind of the pitch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Rodriguez tracks it down for the out. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Here's Jared Kelnick. Fouled off. He was late. And that one sliced foul. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far moving the ball around nicely. 0-2 now. That's a ball. One ball, two strikes to count. And two another ball. Two strikes. Not two, even two. close there. Three balls, two strikes. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one to first, France. He steps oh. on the bag. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Chadwick Trump next up for the Braves. There's a swing and a miss. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? Hey. 
going to count one and two. Oh, two count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Good get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And a pitch. Wouldn't All chase three. that time. And the Braves go down quietly. Still no score. And we're back. And now the shortstop, Leonardo Rivas. The shortstop, Leonardo Rivas. Morton back to work. In for a strike. Oh, and one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. And oh, ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Got him swinging. Really nice job working both sides of the plate for that strikeout. Started him off inside, then away, back inside again, and that one set him up for that last pitch on the outside part of the plate that he just swung right through. Pretty smooth sequence right there. Here's Josh Rojas. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Wouldn't one chase that time. Just off the outside edge. Now 2-0. Oh. Swing and a drive. This one is pushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. That'll fire up the dugout. His fourth home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. He got on plane with that high fastball. Then look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Struck out swinging his first time. Swung on, belted. That's back. And gone. They go back to back. His second of the year. And they boost their lead. It's 2-0. Another home run. This is turning into BP. Back-to-back -back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. So one out, nobody on. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jorge Polanco. He reached out a walk his first time. And a base hit up the middle. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One down. Ty France up next for the Mariners. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Still only one out here in the inning. And 
And it's even up. One and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. On the ground to first. Could be two. Goes to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in Seattle, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Ronald Acuna Jr. Here comes a pitch. Just off the inside edge. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. One down, base is empty. Hey. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Here's Austin Riley. First time up was a pop out. That one fouled hard the other way. The Braves trailing by two, top half of inning number four. Ball. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. That one misses. Two and two. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a miss struck him out. Braves are set down one, two, three. They trail it here, two nothing. Bottom of the fourth, and now for Seattle, Mitch Garver. The designated hitter, Mitch Garver. The right hander back to work. That one not close, and it's one to no. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Kicks and fires. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Kicks and deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. 
The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The right fielder, number 20, Luke Rayleigh. And now the right fielder, Luke Rayleigh. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a miss. One on. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Classe in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Mariners go down quietly there. They're up 2 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here is Matt Olson. The pitch. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong and their timing's off. The pitch. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A massive home run. His fourth home run of the season. It's 2-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. I'm sure he wanted that pitch down below the zone. It stayed up a little bit. He paid a dear price for it. Just a great swing to the ball, through the ball, and a nice round triple. Marcelo Zuna will hit next. And the first offering is not close. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Looking to get the tying run on base. And there's a ball. Gilbert. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Next That's offering cool. upstairs. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. A one-run lead, and we're at the top of the fifth. He walked in, and that will keep things going. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Substitution being made at first. Coming on to pinch run for Atlanta, Luke Williams. No outs, runner at first. And the batter will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. He's 0 for 1. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Throw to first. Williams gets back easily. The 
pitch. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. First and second, no outs. Michael Harris getting ready to hit. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And that's in for a strike. This one high in the air to left center. Rodriguez racing after it. Nice grab on the run. Runner tagging for third. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Now in for the Braves, Jared Kellner. Grounded out his first time. There's a strike. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Left hand hitter waits. A little bit nope. high. And the count is one and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. In the air, left field. He's under it. Makes the grab. Run attacks for third. The throw is off the line and he's in to score. It's 2-2. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Chadwick Trump struck out looking at his first at bat. That clips the zone, and that's strike one. Oh, and one. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Foul ball still 0-2. Back to right. He's under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. They get two and draw even again. Home half of the fifth coming up. We are tied 2-2. Back at T-Mobile Park, and now the catcher comes up to him. Semi Zavala. And he deals. And that Whoa, one missing right low. Up and in. And now 2 and 0. Oh. High fly ball out towards left field. Kelman going back. Wow! Walk it off.
Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Three to the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long from T-Mobile Park in Seattle.